Stark is live at the Crocker Art Museum in full meditation mode. Hello, Code. Shh, I'm okay. meditating. Okay. Shh, you guys in the studio, be quiet. Okay, be okay. quiet. Okay. okay, Christine, this is a really cool program that they're doing right now. Please explain what's, what these people are doing in their chairs and what Aaron, our instructor, is doing. Well, today you're here with us at the Crocker Art Museum, and this is our Meditation in the Galleries class. It happens on select Saturdays, and it gives attendees just an opportunity to take a break from the craziness of the world and experience art maybe for the first time or maybe in a much deeper way. So not only, I, mean, I just want people to th at home to think about this, like you're in a room with some of the most beautiful paintings that you will ever see, but you're not moving from painting to painting to painting to painting. You're actually spending 30 minutes staring at one painting, but Erin is coaching them on different different things to look at, and then she's asking them questions about how they're feeling. And stuff. Most of the time when you walk through a museum, you're going to spend just a few seconds on a piece of work and make some sort of determination whether it's aesthetically pleasing to you, maybe you don't like the artist. But by really sitting with a piece of work for an extended period of time, not only are you going to learn much more and see much more about the artwork, but you're going to put yourself in a nice place to just be present in the museum and relax. And, and present in your life. I mean, like, when do you ever sit down for 30 minutes, much less stare at one thing of beauty, you know? It's pretty nice for it not to be an app, yeah, right? It really is. It's so cool. Okay, so this is one of the exciting programs that you guys have got going on. I know you get the big ball coming up. Uh, when is that? Is it tonight? Or when it's it? Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday night, okay. Crocker Ball, and Crocker Ball supports a number of the wellness programs that we have here at the Crocker. We don't just do meditation. We also have programs for palliative caregivers and people experiencing chronic pain. We have programs for uh, people experiencing dementia and Alzheimer's disease. And the ball that will happen on Saturday night brings in a huge portion of the museum's uh, revenue, about 10% of our operating budget, and allows us to have programs like this. Plus, it's, it's one of the fanciest parties around. Yeah, it is, it is a good it time. Is, it is a good fancy party. Very good fancy party. I am fascinated by this. Is it okay if I bother somebody? Okay, real quick. Let me bother you real quick. Uh, this painting you're staring at is uh, yes. Marin Pastoral. Uh, so so what, what, what are you experiencing right now by just staring at it like this? Well, when Aaron was asking if I'm in the sun or in the shade, I'm looking at the sun, and I can just feel it setting and washing over me, and I feel this sense of relaxation, and I just imagine these, um, these like wheat fields just kind of flowing in a gentle breeze. It's so very calming. It's it's, it's very interesting because yeah. you 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 were doing the, like this movement, and the, I mean this is a two-dimensional still photograph, yes. but there is some movement into right. it. You know? I know, and you can see she asked if I can see anyone in there, and so I see some people traveling in the back, and so it just kind of draws me in and makes me want to know a little bit more about what they're doing. So fascinating. Thanks for talking to us. We appreciate it. Uh, at Crocker Art Museum, a lot of things happen. A lot of things. Thanks for having us out. Thanks for coming. I already feel much calmer. Back to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Code. Well, this family really knows how